Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Plays The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. This is the first Isaac episode recorded on my new PC, which actually... Just trying to run some math. I think this is like the fifth PC I've recorded Isaac on. My laptop when I lived in South Korea. And then when I came back, got a new computer when I came back, moved to Vancouver, used Kate's computer, got another computer in 2015, and then this one. I don't know, it's, I'm not saying it to brag, you know, I'm chewing through these at a rate that is not, I mean, let me put it this way, I hope our car lasts longer than the computers do, but they're uh, being used like crazy here. Anyway, the main draw is that, um, we don't get slow down anymore when we get a Skype message, or at least we're gonna test that. Uh, BYA2JBW2. And we're just, like, very slowly crunching our way through Isaac achievements here. Thanks for the... Whoo! Thanks for the support on the, uh... Basically, reboot of this series. It's not really a reboot, but you know what I mean. As we, uh, work our way through... Getting everything unlocked again. It's kind of a symbolic rebirth of the series. And how ironic, given that the name of the game is... The same. I feel like there's a more elegant way to phrase that, but anyway. Um... Yeah, I mean, it's funny that... We have this new machine that, like, actually could... Well, I'm not gonna say it's, like, a supercomputer necessarily, but... You know, they, when I play Battlegrounds, everything, I'm like, Oh my god, there's so much detail in this game that I never even knew about. And even Battlegrounds is not the best-looking game on planet Earth. Um, but then I'm like, you know what? Okay, let's play some uh, Binding of Isaac. Now, that's a game where we can really test the metal of this thing. I will say, it looks a little smoother in the preview footage, but I don't know. Again, the the other opportunity here is uh, for you guys to say, Hey, your audio sounds like garbage, or hey, your audio sounds great. Just let me know, uh, and we'll uh, get it all sorted out, you know? Let's try not to die as Kane on the first floor. I've played, and I'm just being straight up with you here, I've played pretty badly in the episode since we've uh, gone to a new save file. It's almost like my brain is like, well, you don't have to play that well anymore, because you're, you know... Dealing with the, an easier version of the game. Maybe true, maybe not. But check this out. Um, I got this Elgato Stream Deck thing open. I can switch to the overlay. I can switch it back. I can switch to the intro for the NLSS, which I'm not going to play right now, but just rest assured that I could. Pretty cool, huh? I still need to get uh, the soundboard built into this thing so I can play like... You know... <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. You know, I can play stuff like that uh, when things go wrong. Not because I think it would be funny, but because I think it would be anti-funny, which is hilarious. Anyway, we're working on it. We're working on it. This is the one time I've ever wanted a Skype message, like as soon as I've started an episode. No Skype message comes in. It's a Sunday. What's it? Everybody working? I don't think so. There's no NFL football on either. Where's the, hey, you know, here's what I got in my Overwatch golden loot box or something like that. You can't see, but I do also have a button to tell you to use your Twitch Prime subscriptions if you haven't used them already. I can just, I can, if I hit that right now, it just posted it in the Twitch chat. I didn't even have to be there. It just used the API. One day, the cat is gonna, well, one of the cats, is gonna step on the buttons and it's gonna send like, uh, you know, 25 messages within the space of a single second. I'm gonna get like globally banned for 24 hours, but until then, it's a dream come true. Okay, how's this run going? I mean, it's actually pretty good. I forgot actually, I didn't turn a couple of things on here. So we want, uh, I don't know what active cam is, but we definitely want extra HUD and um, found HUD. I guess we could turn on charge bars as well. I've never used those before. Originally, I was like, I'm not gonna turn on charge bars, but then I thought about it, and I was like, why not? What's what's the benefit to not turning on charge bars? It allows me to stay in my little stubborn uh, hidey hole, right? But let's... It's a time for rebirth. We got a new system. We got a new ability to spam people to use their Twitch Prime subscriptions. Might as well try to work out some other new optimizations in the process as well. But, same game. Definitely same game. Mom's perfume? Chad and I disagree on this item. 
I, I, well, I mean, we agreed for a while. I thought it was terrible. And then uh, I realized it affects your tier delay. And I was like, no, it's really good. And then we were playing it on the uh, NLSS the other day. And Rob was like, how's mom's perfume? And I was like, oh, it's pretty good. And Chad was like, nah, it sucks. Now, I'm not gonna try to big shot you and say that I know, you know, more about Isaac at this point. I think I'm the, um... I'm the guy who's been working at the Isaac factory for like 50 years and a lot of you guys are like the young pups that come in. You got a university education, I went to the school of hard knocks, right? So you're like, well why don't you just uh, decouple the manifold and then uh, reverse the polarity and you'll get 20% more efficiency. And I'm like, dad just taught me to, you know, shoot at the enemy until it goes down. But eventually we've, we've come to an understanding with one another and that's what's important. So we do have a double key room. I'll reroll my whole run. Bothers me. What? Bothers me very little is what I mean to say. Um, I'm just surprised that wasn't the secret room, but it does happen from time to time. Two keys for a five room? Absolutely. Right, can't open that. Um, we'll save our temperance card because we got five cents. We could get uh, the temperance card to give us a second blood bank on the next floor. And then we'll get more value out of it. Mr. Mega's appeared in the basement. It's like, we've used 50 bombs or something like that? I, I don't remember. I don't remember what unlocks freaking anything in this game. Also, holy crap, Mr. Mega is a is an unlock. <laughs> Slightly bigger bombs. It's not like it's a bad item, it's just... Not really that bombastic, but I guess that's what part of what makes Isaac fun is that you're unlocking things so regularly, especially in the early game, that it's like, uh... I mean, you gotta, right? It's the first Brimstone run of the new era. We shouldn't have taken Old Bandage. Eh, we were totally fine to take Old Bandage, actually. Because we wouldn't have had the HP to take all three of these. We probably would have stayed away from, uh... The Harbinger or whatever the heck that item's called. So we could die here. We should be careful about that. We're gonna crack into this, and that was, uh, you know, well worth the cost of doing business, but nothing much apart from that. Uh, this is okay. This is, I mean, it's better than okay. We just have to be careful about our uh, survivability here. Okay, so charged bars. Wow, this is actually an extremely positive UI change. As always, my apologies. A number of people were like, why don't you use charged bars? And uh, I always just went, I don't need them. I grew up without charged bars. Why would I need them now? Turns out. Probably should have taken advantage of him. Guppy's head is what we're going to use uh, long term here. It ended up being pretty good, actually. Uh, secret room? Probably not, but you want to look regardless. Uh, we can't quite go to that room. And this is actually, like, the, by far the strongest run we've had. Butterbean has appeared in the basement. All right. Didn't realize you got so many unlocks for shooting poops. Secret room, perhaps. Indeed. Um, we can't get into any other rooms yet. Oh, no, 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 no. We can get into this one. Uh, I don't remember what this is, though. It's another five room? I mean, I'll do it, but it's a little ridiculous. I just want to survive now. Or as good Charlotte would say, I just want to live. Two more spirit arts. Uh, we might get a deal with the devil, but I think I'm going to use these to go to our curse room instead and try to, you know, leverage our advantages. Uh... We have to pick up Cursed Eye at some point. My thinking is why not now? Of course we got nine lives. Um, I think this is a good run to have it. It's the way I see it at least. Maybe not the best use of the Temperance card, but kind of a fun use of the Temperance card. And you know what? We got another, uh, we got the ability to get into the shop up there, which should allow us to get a key. All we need is a bomb. But I'm, I'm fairly like overjoyed with the way this run looks right now we've got a lot of like 10 out of 10 items and i'm sitting pretty dude i'm gonna do the five room again too i want to become guppy before we leave this floor wow mama mega here we go again i'm just gonna use it because it's cheap and you know what donate some more money here i don't know probably got to get to like 25 cents before you get anything else but why not give it a shot right 20 cents gives us the first store upgrade i guess and i thought maybe we could cheese it that's fine it's gonna be incremental progress but progress nonetheless got our second secret room for free and it's useless 
We may not be able to get to our item room, but that's all right. We'll get another one on the next floor, probably. Now, the one thing I want to know is uh, if we don't get a deal with the devil here, do we have uh, the benefit of not getting one? Which sounds confusing, but what I mean is um, if we don't get a deal with the devil, which we didn't, do we have a 67% chance on the next floor or do we go back to a 33% chance? Uh, we just had a subscription. <laughs> I apologize for that. Previously, I've never had, um, I've never had, uh, my subs- Oh my god, we are guppy. My subscription overlay on OBS, because I used XSplit to stream. Um, but now there might be- You know what? We could try to, like, check this out. Okay, I'm just gonna try it. I'm gonna press the Twitch Prime button. And I'm gonna see if we get a call and response here with a subscription. Is it a scumbag technique? Maybe, but it would also be a great joke. So let's see if it works. I press the button. We've sent out the siren call. I'm not paying that close attention to the preview window, so... I might miss it. You gotta let me know. I uh, can't do anything there. Come on! It's a joke that financially benefits me! Be a good sport! No, it's, uh... That was funny, though. I can, I can disable that for, uh for videos, which I will do from this point onwards. So this is like a disgusting run. I don't know what we can accomplish on this run, but we should try to do everything that's in our power. Even if it ends at mom's heart, um, we might be able to, I can't remember if you get the hush fight. Do we choose to go into the chest after the mom's heart fight or not? We definitely have the ability to do boss rush. This could be our first boss rush run, which would be something. Um, we might want to use our keys to open the golden chests. I think we'll still make boss. I mean, we got Brimstone Guppy on the first freaking floor. So I'm very confident that despite being one floor behind schedule, we're going to make boss rush. That should be like no problem whatsoever. Um, and you know what? It's nice because I don't feel bad uh, about the fact that we... I think this is the way you do it. I don't feel bad about the fact that we're uh, so stacked on this run. Because it's like we have a reasonable excuse you know we're trying to uh oh my lord we're trying to get everything unlocked that we conceivably can so why wouldn't we take every available advantage this is the first time we've ever had brimstone on this save file in this very unique permutation of situations but you get the idea sure i traded a key for a penny it's a bad deal worst deal in the history of deals eh. Sometimes you trade a key for, like, enemies. That's way worse. But this is, like... The run is so easy. I Again, I sort of feel like... Why not just pick up everything? It's like that Shakira song from Zootopia. Try everything. We might as well pick up every item that we get, because we're going to need it at some point anyway. It's like, um... You know, when it came to Afterbirth... When it came to Rebirth, I can't remember, I think it was Rebirth. One of my last items ever to get was the dollar bill. Just because I'd conditioned myself to never play slot machines because they're almost never worth it. And was it a good idea? Yeah, like almost certainly. But we could have also increased our, uh, the rate at which we got real Platinum God by probably just playing one of those uh, before it became an issue. Either way. I can't bring up Zootopia any- We didn't make it this meme, by the way. Society made this meme. Um, I saw Zootopia with my wife in theaters three months after it came out, which is the way that we see movies most of the time. I just saw Guardians of the Galaxy 2, as we talked about. I look forward in a month and a half to seeing Wonder Woman. Perhaps I'll even check out Spider-Man in September. That's just the way she goes. Um, I didn't realize that by liking this movie, it meant that I wanted to have intercourse with all these cartoon animals. Here I was thinking it was a heartwarming, you know, family film about uh, acceptance even when we're all different from one another. We've all got our own different strengths and abilities and that's, you know, part of what makes us strong. Instead, it turns out that, uh, I guess just by enjoying the movie, I wanted to have intercourse with those cartoon animals. And that's on me, I suppose. I don't know if it's like... I don't know, I don't know how this got created. But it's the same thing, I don't know why this doesn't apply to other things. Cause, and hear me out here. 
First off, there's not like there's anything wrong with it. I don't care. You know, whatever you J.O. to in the privacy of your own bedroom doesn't bother me in the least. However, why is it that if you like Zootopia, everybody thinks you want to sleep with the cartoon animals, whereas if you like, you know, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, everybody goes, yeah, it's a classic piece of cinema. They're both good to great movies. And, you know, sure, maybe one's better than the other. Who Framed Roger Rabbit might be better than Zootopia, but they're both good. Maybe I just spend too much time on the internet. Like, if you talk to somebody in the real world and you go, I like Zootopia, they go, oh, me too, it's a great movie. Nobody goes, oh, yeah, me too. Probably. I don't know. But the internet is real life these days, man. People are spending more than half of their days on the internet. People of my generation, at least. Oh, my God. I don't, I don't know if they stack, but it's still worth it. It's the realest life. Which is a scary thing, but also, like, eh, kind of cool. We have an actual, like, cyber world. I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> Guess I was going to talk a little bit about the cyber world. What's funny, when you go back and look at... Uh, dystopian, like, cyberpunk movies is how they always are like, hey, we're in the future of, uh, you know, cyberpunk and all that. Um, yeah, things are real weird, like, rich people turn poor people into food and then eat them. Uh, but then also, almost every single monitor still has, like, green on, or green text on black backgrounds. It's like they really thought that they had knocked it out of the park so much with the user interface there. Like, it can't get any better than green text on black backgrounds. That's as good as it gets. Starring Jack Nicholson. Classic movie. Turns out if you like it though, sorry. You wanna slobber on Jack Nicholson's knob. Apparently that's how we, we like movies in this day and age. Oh, you like Space Jam? Sorry. It means you uh, wanna put it in Lola Bunny's butt. I didn't realize until now, but that's that's the era that we've created. We're bordering on some, you know, I think the lady doth protest too much sort of territory here. So let's let's back away. But hey, it's a tangent. Hard to come by lately. All right. This is like so overpowered. We don't need to talk about it uh, borderline at all here, um, which is nice, you know, to just be extremely confident here. A little bit off pace for boss rush, but we'll probably make it happen regardless. Uh, and we still have Wishbone doing nothing for us, but maybe one day coming through in the clutch. Like Luke Cage, which I have not seen yet. Uh, excuse me, streamer. Luke Cage doesn't come in the clutch. He says, I'm not going to lay in the cut no more. At least that's as I understand it from what Robert has told me. I haven't seen that either. I don't watch... I don't watch TV much. Really, it, it depends how much laundry I've folded in, in recent memory. Like, I've, I haven't i have folded laundry in like five or six days. Last time I folded laundry, I watched an episode of You've Gotta Eat Here, which I talked about in a very recent Isaac episode. And I do want to point out, one of the benefits of living in a major city, at least within Canada, is um, when you watch... Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives, the Canadian version, a.k.a. You Gotta Eat Here, there's probably like a 20% chance, not a restaurant you've been to necessarily, but a 20% chance that a restaurant in your city is going to be on there. Like, I watched an episode when I was folding laundry, and uh, it was a restaurant called Yolks. It's like an egg-based brunch place, and I was like, I've seen that place! There's always a lineup! But is there a lineup because it's good? Or is it a lineup because you gotta eat here? I, always, I mean, I, I don't know how many bits I can do about you gotta eat here as well. It's getting a little ridiculous, but... I find the name of the show very presumptuous. What about... Eh, consider eating here. This is a good place to eat. It's not you gotta eat here. You got 48 seasons of episodes. That's like more meals than I've consumed since I've been able to eat there, you know? We're trying not to break the bank too much, eating out at Yolks every day, getting, you know, goat cheese eggs benedict with, you know, real Canadian maple syrup on top of it. That's expensive. Everyone, they, when they come to Canada, 
I mean, not everybody, but a lot of people when they come to Canada, we're like, oh, you're gonna get like souvenirs? And they're like, yeah. I was thinking I would buy some maple syrup and take it back. And we're like, dude, stop. It's too, it's like, you know, $20 a liter for real maple syrup here. And they always go, I thought it would be cheap. And I go, I know. So we're always like, why is maple syrup so expensive? I guess like the fact that it grows in a tree for a whole year and then, you know, you just kind of take it all out and drizzle it on pancakes. Some supply and demand, but also, like, how many liters of syrup do you get from one maple tree? I got no idea. Um, well, if we can't donate, we might as well just bounce here. I'm trying to think of, like, other examples that make sense, but... Maple syrup is a common misconception. Not cheap in Canada. Same thing, like, we live... I've got the perfect example. We live in Vancouver. If you haven't seen Vancouver on a map, it borders the Pacific Ocean on, like, three sides, basically. Um, and it's next to, like, a major strait and a large river. I know what you're saying. Seafood's gotta be cheap there. Nah, son. It's, like, still real expensive. I still will never willfully buy, like, crab from a grocery store. First off, because I don't trust myself to cook it properly, but secondly, um, I, I thought when I moved out here, I was like, fish is gonna be like, they're just gonna be giving it away. That's still like really expensive. It's like they're freezing it, putting it on a truck, shipping it to Ontario, and then flying it back out to justify the, the cost or something. So there's always, like, people go like, you know, not always, but they go, hey, do you eat like uh, smoked salmon? Smoked salmon is like a very Vancouver-y common thing. Smoked and candied salmon. Um, I say, yeah, if I'm at a buffet that has smoked salmon, I'm eating a lot of smoked salmon. I will eat as much smoked salmon as I can before they say, sir, you've hit the limit on smoked salmon. You're gonna get, like, zinc poisoning or something. One of the great scourges of our modern day era. I'm never buying smoked salmon for myself. Are you out of your mind? Just keep eating ham sandwiches on Wonder Bread. That's the same price across the whole nation. Uh, I'm not gonna... Ah, oh, we should take... We're gonna kill everything so quickly anyway. We've unlocked Krampus. Oh, it's an, a new era. Alright, we're gonna do boss rush. I don't know, maybe... Uh, I think this does work, but it might really slow down our rate of fire. Um, do you think boss rush is gonna be uh, shorter? Because we have less bosses unlocked? I really doubt it. I would like that to be the case, but I would be very, very surprised. Oh, we're only getting one charge from Boss Rush now, too. They must have, uh, unfortunately fixed that. I was really enjoying getting double the, uh, active item effects that we normally would. But seriously, this is like a Platinum God run on a mom's heart save file. What does what Sir Mix-a-Lot say? It's like Brooklyn face but an Oakland booty. That's what we got going on here. I don't know what that means. Brooklyn face but an Oakland booty. I think I would take offense if I live in Oakland. He's like, yeah, your girls have good butts, but for some reason they're not quite as attractive as women from this one particular borough in New York City. And Sir mix you're from you're from Seattle. You couldn't just you couldn't just use like Pacific Northwest landmarks. Maybe you, you know don't poop where you eat. That's what they say. Especially if your song's about butts, you're like just asking for it at that point. I think I think Sir mix from Seattle. You know we got a lot of pride for the Pacific Northwest music scene up here, and by that I mean. We take credit in Vancouver for being close to Seattle, where a lot of grunge music and, and hip-hop happened. That's what music does, it happens, and then it's gone. There's a Tinted Rock. We played a little better on this run, but it's also really easy to play better um, when you have the easiest runs of all time happening. By the way, I haven't even looked to see if the post-it note's actually getting filled in. Um, I'm just kind of assuming that it is, and if it's not, well, we're setting ourselves back a little bit, but we're certainly unlocking things. Like, we're not just ending the run at mom every time. Is that spun? 
Little baggie gives us spun, I think. No? Just we picked up enough syringes, but just off kilter enough to be like confused. We did kill Mom's Heart, I think, for the first time in the last episode, so we might get access to uh to uh the hush fight. And at this point, if I ever get the chance to do hush, if I ever get the chance to do delirium, I'm gonna do them. Um, just to spice things up, because admittedly, a run that ends at Mom's Heart is not the most exciting run in Isaac history, most of the time. Not Krampus. Live a little. Take this, take this. Go for it. Broke here. We got a guaranteed deal with the devil at the end of the next floor. We might get Cathedral access. I don't know. I don't remember how to, and this is not a joke. I don't remember how to unlock almost anything related to progress in Isaac. We just kind of, we got it once and I was like, I'm set. <laughs> I don't need, I've got tenure. I don't need to worry about this anymore. But now, I, I wouldn't say I need to worry about it, but you know, just keep that in mind. If you ever want me to know something about Isaac that seems pertinent, and I'm being serious here, yell at me on Twitter. I'm good for the most part at filtering out Productive yelling from unproductive yelling. So I appreciate... Oh, that was bad. I appreciate when people, uh... You know, message me and go like, Hey, you... It seems like you would want to know this. Don't ever feel, uh... Badly about that. Unless it becomes absurd. Okay, so I'm gonna try to... Never walk into a red poop again. We've actually created, uh, we left a spirit art back there, but I think we'll be fine. Especially with all the red hearts we're getting anyway. Um, we've actually created Curse of the Tower on like five rooms on this floor, which is very embarrassing for me. I don't care about permanent Polaroid invincibility because we don't have the Polaroids, so that's like essentially completely irrelevant. Clubs to a hearts. I thought that would give us a heart there, to be honest. So we're just looking for raw HP now. I suppose we could explore the entire floor, but I don't know what we'd be looking for that unlocks things, because I don't know what unlocks things. I think I thought we established this. Okay, yeah, walk right into the enemy. Smart play. So it's just gonna take me out. I'll tell you what. Oh no, it's not! We're going to get a bonus play here. What I was actually thinking is we would go back and explore and look for a self-sacrifice room. But, dude, let's try this out. Maybe we'll get some serious unlocks here. Now, there should be no way for us to get to uh, the void floor. I think that we're screwed in that department. And also, this run is like a huge candidate for highway blindness because it's oh so strong. So, there's like... A great incentive for me to like go get a snack after this episode and forget that we're dealing so much damage because the next episode is unlikely to be as strong as this one. Dude, I just realized we gotta unlock the Lost and the Keeper again. Like, we got so much greed mode stuff to do. Like a month of greed mode. At one episode a day. It's gonna be a... Uh... Well, you know what? It's nice. It's a long-term project. I kind of see this as my, like, um, you know, Far Lands or Bust or something like that. <laughs> you know, the series where that dude was walking uh, across all of Minecraft to try to reach the point at which the world ends. I don't know what ever happened there. Mostly because I saw his task as so gargantuan that I was like, I can't watch this. I'll watch the last episode. No doubt about it. And then yeah, I don't begrudge anybody who spent their time watching the other ones, but... It's like, dude, this guy... Literally, the whole crux of this is that the, the task is going to take a long time. How did we get a demon heart? Isn't there a... Uh... Isn't there an unlock for having 12 spirit hearts? Did we already get that? Can't remember. We probably won't be able to just create it out of thin air, but there is a chance. If we get enough red hearts, I mean, even that might be one payout right there. We have Gimpy, so I guess you'd be expecting uh, 
a lot of chances here. You got one for me? He doesn't have one? Is this like a nerfed version? I feel like I'm losing my mind. Maybe if I hadn't taken like 20 hits I had no reason to take, we wouldn't find ourselves in such a weird situation. I'm looking for a self-sacrifice room, which we did not find. I don't even know if they exist at this stage in our Isaac, you know, save file, but a fun run nonetheless. Nay, a very fun run nonetheless. I had a good time on this one. We got up to some good topics of conversation, I think. Come on, dude. You got me. Alright, we tried. Um, we unlocked a bunch of stuff, and we just skipped the ending that I should have looked at, but we can do that again. We had to fight Satan 30 times anyway. We unlocked Judas, we unlocked the Catacombs, the Ace of Clubs. Ooh, we started to fill in the post it or the, uh, the main screen. I still don't know why this has nothing. Was it because I used the Bible to kill Mom? Because we got other stuff unlocked here, but anyway. We got a Zazel, we got Lazarus, we got Eden. We should do an Eden run next, just for old times' sake. How did you enjoy the episode? If you liked it, click the like button. It helps me out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Let me know how you felt about the episode quality from an audiovisual standpoint, because this is on a new PC. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the episode, and I will see you next time.